The Titles and Text plugin supplied with Vegas Pro has one major drawback, in my opinion. That is, the inability to create a true 3D environment. Sure, you can use the Track Motion tool to rotate the text in 3D space, but the text will still be flat, with no depth. If you're fortunate enough to own a dedicated title plugin such as Title Pro, true 3D extruded text is easy to create. If not, you can still achieve a simulated depth effect using the inbuilt layer dimensionality plugin supplied with Vegas Pro. You should note, though, that it's not possible with this plugin to create extrusion where the text has true 3D depth. You should also note that the plugin is only available with Vegas Pro. In this tutorial, I'll describe the function of each of the plugin's parameters. I'll also demonstrate a few of the many interesting combinations that can be applied to your text. Welcome to tutorial number 26. Before I start, I want to take a minute to show you a few presets I've created. This will give you some idea of what can be achieved. They were created quite quickly by simply experimenting with the various parameters of the Layer Dimensionality plugin. Best results are obtained with fonts that are substantial, such as the font called Impact. In the examples I'll be working on, I've chosen a font called AR Julian. This is aesthetically more pleasing than Impact, but is still quite substantial. OK, this is Vegas Pro 18 and I've loaded a project that will help me describe the Layer Dimensionality plugin parameters. We'll start with the Shadow parameter. If we open up the drop-down list, three options. None, drop and inner. None, self-explanatory, results in no shadow. Drop, the normal mode for creating a shadow. The shadow appears behind the text. Inner. In this mode, the shadow can be made to appear inside the text. The shadow parameter has three sub-parameters, height, blur, opacity. The height slider controls the shadow's offset. A value of zero results in no offset. Increasing the value increases the offset from the text. The position of the shadow also depends upon the light location parameter, which will be dealt with later on. The blur slider, this is self-explanatory. A value of zero results in the shadow having no blur. A value of one results in maximum blur. Opacity, again self-explanatory. A value of zero results in minimum opacity, in other words, a transparent shadow. A value of one results in maximum opacity. We 
now go to the glow parameter and the drop down list as non outer inner edge and dual non again self explanatory results in no glow outer creates a glow surrounding the text inner now this creates a glow inside the text body this subparameter can be used to enhance your bevel text and we'll go go to this section open up the plugin parameter box and change the type to inner and you can see the result there vary the amount you can give some nice results the glow type edge this creates a glow along the edges of the text Now the glow parameter has up to three subparameters. First the amount slider that varies the amount of glow. The color obviously changes the color of the glow. And if we set the type to dual brings in another color so with the type set to dual the first color which is just labeled color will be the inner glow and the second color will be the outer glow Now we come to the emboss parameter. This has six subparameters. The function of the first two parameters is a little tricky to figure out. After a lot of experimentation, I've come up with some sort of explanation for what these parameters do. Please note that this explanation is mine and may not agree totally with the official explanation, whatever that is. I've not been able to find one so far. Having said that, let's press on. The foreground slider. Now this slider attempts to simulate the height of the foreground embossing. The foreground in this case being the text. A negative value will give the impression of engraved text where the text appears to be cut into the background a positive value gives the impression that the text is raised above the background. Background. This slider will have an effect on any event on the track below the text, effectively the text background. A negative value will give the impression that the text is sinking into the background. A positive value gives the impression that the background is raised up behind the text. Light intensity. 
Now this controls the amount of light falling on the subject. A value of zero results in no definition, where the subject reverts to its 2D state. Light ambience. This controls the amount of ambient light. Increasing this boosts the light intensity and varies the overall lighting effect. Roundness. This will affect the size and shape of the bevel effect. A value of zero produces a tiny, sharp bevel. A value of one results in a bevel that's large and rounded. Shininess. This simulates a shiny surface by highlighting certain parts of the image. Where the highlighting occurs depends upon the position of the light location. Foreground opacity. This parameter controls the transparency of the image. A value of zero results in full transparency. Used with the emboss parameters and an appropriate background, this can produce some interesting results. Final parameter is light location. It has two subparameters. Location. The position of the light source is determined by the crosshair position. This position will have an effect on some of the other parameters such as shadow. This can be changed in the location box or directly from the screen, the preview screen. This is the height slider and determines the height of the light source above the image. As you've seen, this plugin is quite powerful. It doesn't give you 3D extruded text, but the simulated beveled look is quite effective. A lot of experimentation may be required to obtain your desired results, but if you have the time and patience, it's well worth the effort. Thanks for watching, and if you've found it useful, please consider subscribing. I also welcome any comments you may have. Until the next tutorial, bye for now.